Hello, Brandon Spickleton here. Today we are here with a new Minecraft plugin tutorial. And today's plugin we are doing is an amazing plugin out there. It's called Advanced Mob Arena. Advanced Mob Arena basically allows you to make a mob arena and fully customize it to your standards, basically. So we're going to go over some basic commands. I'm going to be showing you all the commands later on on the Wikipedia. Uh, and then I'll show you the permissions. Then I'll be showing you how to set up your arena and stuff like that. So firstly, I just need to quickly do something. There we go. So first of all, AMA is short for Advanced Mob Arena. So it shows you all the commands here. So help, balance, coins, force end, start, join, etc. Which you can see here. We will be going over most of these commands. Uh, then you've got your AMN balance. This is how much money you've got um, basically earned when doing the mob arenas. Because you can have your own currency for mob arena and they can, people can get rewards for it. Example like kits, um, in-game money and stuff like that. Then your next command is AM join and then arena. But at the moment we have no uh, arenas available. Then you've got your shop, AM a shop. And you can see there that's not set up yet. So because there's no arena set up, again we'll see stats, my stats should be nothing because I've again not set up an arena. So I'm not gonna go for that command because that's how you start the how to set everything up. So here's the permissions. It's easy permissions here. Advanced mob arena user. This allows you to give all the users the default commands such as uh, AMA leave, list, join, um, balance, and etc. like that. Then you've got your admin, so this basically can control the management of coins, uh, your editor, your force end, force stop, uh, and stuff like that. And then you've got your kits, so your kit permissions. So if you want to give someone all the kits, you add the staff, or if you want to give a kit to a certain player, you just add the name of the kit right at the end instead of that star. So yeah, I'm actually gonna show you that needs to be removed. Um I need to show you the Wikipedia now. Not the Wikipedia, sorry, the um the spigot page. So advanced mob arena reboots lays mobs for rewards uh from 1.14 to 1.16. Uh there's seven point point uh seven point two one. Um this plugin's been going basically development for a very, very long time. So the features what was included is this that it's fully customizable. It is so simple. I'll be showing you how to basically customize everything. Uh, then you've got your database, so you can basically do it as MySQL or um, SQL Lite or SQLite. Sorry. Uh, again, MySQL is the best because obviously you're not putting pressure on your server. It's putting pressure on your data server. So it's good to have two different servers. Uh, then you've got built-in currency which is the coins but you can connect it to the vault uh, currency the economy which is pretty awesome and then arena requirements to join so you can make permissions to certain arenas add permissions uh, players xp level requirements add multiple different requirements such as require um, permissions and money amount etc and then you've got your lobby so this lob the lobby basically allows you to select your kits and buy stuff from the shop before it starts and look at your stats uh, again it's fully customizable in your hotbar and then you've got your arena game flow so you can get your coins multiplier it gives you the time left disable or enable each arena scoreboard hunger regeneration item drop uh, durability the end appels, item xp spectator mode uh, kits pets mcmo which is a very lot of features there for a certain, just for gameplay of the arena, which is pretty damn awesome. Then you've got your arena chat. So um, if you're talking in chat, it won't show to everyone else in your server. It will only show in the chat in the arena. Then you can have your custom mobs. So this is, again, in your configuration, you can do passive mobs, uh, which attacks you, which is kind of funny. Then you can edit their health, their speed, their damage, etc. Then you've got your mob leveling, so it defines min and maximum level of each mob. 
So like where every Ray 5 you can set up like a slime wave or something like that or killer pigs. And you've got your inner kill streaks, so make uh mob killing a bit more fun with kill streaks. So with extra coins, uh rewards and stuff like that. Then you've got your wave, so it obviously basically it connects in waves. So first round ten zombies, sec next round twelve zombies, etc. You can it you can set it limited that you have to kill every single one to the next wave, so it puts less pressure on your server as well. And it ends there prevents unexpected lags uh, and then you've got your wave progression so it makes the game more harder for each wave then you've got your rewards again making rewards each round uh, support for multiple items and commands then you've got your inner shop so you can add certain kits uh, lock certain products until reaching a certain rank score or region again it's a fully customized U U uh, GUI then you've got your arena map progression. So when you're making your arena map, it tells you what you need to do next and stuff like that. So you're not always forgetting what to do. Then you can do different spots. Then you've got your kit. So again, easy to make kits. Uh, you can get them by paying, uh, permission, or depends on other kits. Again, content is customized items, potions, etc. And then you've got your stats, which tracks everything. And you can do it as signs, heads, or NPCs to show the leaderboard. And here's some screenshots. How so? Angry Pig. Is uh, basically a wave. You need to be level 2 to get to the wave. There we go. And that's the, uh, the shop. So you need 0 coins to unlock tank. 800, 400, etc. And this is where you can select your kit. And this is the leaderboard, which is pretty epic. Then you've got your stats again through a hologram. And this is the Wikipedia. I'll be showing you over that later on. Uh, then you, this is connected to vaults, uh, mithril mobs, holographics, citizens, uh, pets, and placeholders. So for this plugin, you will need uh, Spigot 1.14 or above, F Core, which is included as this plugin, and at least your server is running Java 8 plus. And if you want scoreboard, you get a protocol lib. Okay, so let's go back to Minecraft. And let's get the, set this up. So I've actually set up an arena for myself. I'm going to get myself a compass. So if you're wondering how I'm about to do this. So if you've got world guard or world and it's one of them, you can teleport through stuff with a compass. Okay. So let's start up. So if we do AMA editor like so and this will show you a GUI of how basically to set up your arena so you've got your arena manager kit manager or mob uh, manager so first of all we need to edit the arena and it will say create or return so we need to create arena so first of all we need to enter a name volcano there we go volcano has been made volcano arena Click to edit, like so. And now you can see it's inactive. Game manager, uh, arena setup kits, a region manager, spot manager, wave manager, and shop manager. So we're actually gonna get my compass back. So need that to teleport out to the dome, like so. And if we type in that command again, and go to that, obviously there's it. I need to look up for this because of my compass. Left click, and then Arena Manager, and then Create Region. So we will need to say roughly about here. And then we need to make a spot here. So we're actually going to use world edit for this. This is going to be useful for world edit. So I'll just place a block there. And then right click. So there's it shows you the whole arena with particles to see if it's inside. And to me, that looks perfect. So then we can see on the emerald, it says region save tool. Save it. And then you've got your region. 
basically set up. So now we need to return. So we got a region, region setup, lock, wave, etc. So if we'd actually just go back and go back again, we need to do gameplay manager. But we don't actually need to do that. You only do that manually. So we just do this. Go to arena lobby tool. So this is basically the lobby. So this is allows you. So when you join the, the game, it will tell you. Okay. Okay, sorry about that, I had a phone call. So, Arena Lobby, so it's basically where you have your signs and stuff around. So, if we actually go inside this little bit, what I made, this is going to be our Arena Lobby. So, we just right click there. So, this is our Arena Lobby location. And then, if we go to Spectator, we'll do it in exactly the same place. Spectator mode. And then, if we go to arena leave it's all set up so basically if someone wants to leave the arena um they basically actually will change location they leave the whole arena so if you have a dedicated room for your arenas um dedicated area for your arenas for people to leave what's got all the boards of the arenas basically it will teleport them to that so if we actually set it up here so when someone leaves, they teleport there instead of there. So that's teleportation for lobby and spectator room. Okay. So then we're going to exit. So now that's set up, if I'm correct. So we want to double check. Not that, that command. Anyway, see editor, arena. I need to get rid of this compass. Sorry, guys. Edit. Arena setup. And you can see there, they've both been set up over there. Okay. So this should be enabled. So there we go, enabled. So that can be fine. That's fine. Arena, that's fine. So basically, the arena is just shows you how to set this out and stuff up. So you've got your holograms you've got your spawner which you actually will need this is the spawner to allow mobs to spawn in um there we go the so spawner mob spawner there we'll have one here we'll have one here so you can do unlimited amount of these for your for your spawner so if we put them all the way around the whole arena which i've made like so there we go and Let's just put one there, just why not? <laughs> okay, so th this is basically telling you it's the spawn location. So we need to actually change that because we will die instantly. So for our spawn location, we're actually going to spawn in the house. So here. No, that. Game. There we go. So that's our spawn location. That's gone now. So we've done spawner. So hologram. Uh, we'll put the hologram like, let's put it like somewhere here, because why not? And then you've got your container, so you can actually get loot. So, container there, container there, container there, container there, put them in some dangerous places. So it looks like you can probably not get that, but oh well. So it's basically so people can get loot around. And then let's just save that. So we've done our setup kit. So now that's the lock and unlock triggers. But again, that's in the uh, default stuff. And then if we go to our region container manager. Uh, that's again in the file manager. So if we go back to the editor so, and see what we've done. So we've done, can't do gameplay because we need to go in the files for that. We've done the setup kit, which is your lobby, your leave, and your spectator. Done the region manager, so spot manager. So create spot. 
and if we type in one to be honest you don't really need to have a spot but it's good to have one and basically you can put it there just like there and it will be fine like that actually we'll make that a bit higher so we have a little box here and then we could save that spot and edit it enable we can't enable it because there's no uh, status so if we click on this and it says please disable it so again we need to disable it that create a state press one again new state and then we just can preview save back toggle and there we go and that's your spot so if you go back so spot manager is done so we need to do wave manager again that's in the files and then the shop manager in the files so if we left click this there now it says it's ready but the next thing we need to do is set up the signs so this is allowing us to um to make a kit if i'm correct so if we go in here uh, it's kind of awkward there we go and if i am correct to make your sign i have to just quickly google this because it just to double check um actually i will tell you this in the config file so let's let's go straight to the config file so in your server browser let's go to your plugins go to advanced mob arena which should be at the top and then you've got all your details here which has all been set up so you can see our arena and volcano should be there which we'll be going over soon actually let's go over it now so you've got your region your shops and etc uh you can click on your volcano and you can see what's enabled what's disabled etc if you want mcmo enabled uh, the name the requirements the waves stuff like that you literally this is how much detail you can have so every every certain amount of the rounds a player gets healed and then you've got your detail of how where the locations are which is pretty awesome and then you've got your shop so for a price of 50 you get a golden apple and then you can get healed and stuff like that and we close go back and we're actually just going to go straight to the configuration folder like so so this is the prefix so we're going to change this to brands mob arena and it's on our sqlite so this is storing the data on the local server itself it's not the mysql so a purge basically kills everything uh then you've got your mob so will mobs take damage to lava yes and then you've got your money table so default mobs is one creepers you get three spiders you get two etc you got your kill streaks so you get messages like double kill triple kill quadra kill penta kill etc and you get extra money which you can see here um you can keep setting these up so example so let's just add like money here we get a 10 each each one of them and then you've got your item shop your kit selector so this is all basically set up so you don't really need to do signs uh, because you will have these in your hotbar which is pretty nice and easy so you don't really have to have signs but some people like to have signs around and to be honest that's really it you can take your time and set up the configuration yourself but to be honest the default stuff what you get automatically is quite nice so you can see here the game will start in 30 seconds etc so you got your stats which tells you your stats you've got an ender chest which is the um the shop which you can buy so we're gonna buy that buy that buy that buy that um again you can't buy it because we ain't got the money but we did actually we have the in-game money uh we're gonna get tank and that's to leave arena so we select tank actually we'll have this one but circa so we we spawned in here I'm just wait for their sound to go 
So yeah, we spawned in here, and you can see in this bar here, next wave starting in two seconds. Yes, there are slimes outside the circle. And then you've got your chests, but again, I set the chests up. So next wave in three seconds. I just need to look for our... And basically, I found a kind of an issue with a um, mistake. I'm guessing it was related to that we had to reload the plugin for some reason. We didn't edit nothing on the this, this side, basically, but... Um, I just double checked it and changed some of the settings here and then reloaded it. It worked. So I'm going to actually just change this, save and continue. And then if we go to AMA reload, technically it should work now. You can see that it's changed to Brands, pick, uh, Brands Mob Arena. Let's join the arena. And sorry about this, guys. Um, didn't know yet to reload the plugin. That was my behalf. So. So we selected our kit, so we can spawn in that middle house. And technically, three mobs should spawn, which is a zombie skeleton and a spider. Do, 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 do. Three, two, two, one, one. Okay. Okay. You can see it's working perfectly. Uh, the waves will keep coming as well. That's kind of awkward over there. So, double kill. You can see there, I've got 10... Oh, and I actually died. Wow, they are that strong. Uh, we're going to do another game. We're going to try a different kit this time. We're going to actually try the, uh, the tank. You have extra health, but you're a bit slower. Etc. Okay. Uh, 15 seconds, sorry. 15. So after this, after this little run. Okay, guys, I found the issue. Basically, the plugin does actually need to be reloaded. So, when you've developed everything, make sure you reload the plugin like so. And you can see that it says Brands Mob Arena. So, reload the plugin when you've done edit everything on the editor. So, it refreshes the plugin's brain, basically. And when you've done that, just connect to the, um, the lobby. And then select our kit. So, we're actually going to go tank. And we'll just do the waiting game. Pretend that everyone's here. So you can see here, the stats are going up since I've been testing. Uh, but I'm glad I found the issue uh, But for you guys. So if no mobs are spawning for you guys, just make sure to reload your plugin and it should work. And also make sure your world allows you to have... One second. Yeah, make sure the plugin allows you to spawn um, any plugin or stopping mob spawning. Example, like uh, World Guard or Towny, etc. What stop, stops mob spawning? What would be good if ta what tank could have? It could add a shield, maybe. I think that would be quite nice. So, tank's pretty, pretty OP. And you can see here, I'm earning coins at the same time, and I'm getting, and you can see that as well, the mobs are uh, getting stronger, and the higher levels. So, just keep grinding them coins. Oh, God. I required, I got a, a heal because I reached round five. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Let's have a break. Okay, you can't eat because every generation's always on. That's part of the configuration. So we can open the door for a second. So we are absolutely getting swarmed. I don't even know if this is so loud for you. I'm going to turn the sound down just in case. 
So you can see at the top right, the perks of my um, my kit is the regeneration and slowness. Oh no! This is not the way to go! Oh my god! Can I make it through? I can't make it through! Jesus! Oh my god! Oh my! It's a zombie apocalypse! Run! Oh my good god! They will never get me alive! Oh god! Go! Go! Swim! What is this armor? Allow me to swim! Has it got fire protection? It is! <laughs> Oh, God! I forgot there's a spawn point up here. <laughs> Ouch! It so... Oh, no! Get burnt. Oh, there's fire arrows! They're shooting through the lava! <laughs> but you can see the level 8 now. Oh, my. Oh, my God. Goodness. Again, there's another chest which I didn't configure it. Oh my good god. You can see some mobs have spawned outside because maybe got pushed outside. You're all burnt, but you can see. They, they got more health than normal because higher they round, they get more HP. Stuff like that. Oh, no. Oh, God. I'm getting bullied. Look at all these arrows. Ouch! Not again. There we go. We've got a guy in armor as well. You can add bosses as well, which is pretty cool. But yeah, there's loads of stuff what you can do with this plugin. You can configure a pig attacking you, stuff like that. It's pretty, pretty awesome. I'm actually going to kill myself now. There we go. And basically, if we now do... Um, AMA balance and this will show you how many coins I've got so it's got its own currency and you can see a second ago when I was buying the kits that's actually through economy so with your vault plugin but you can change that in the config to the currency with mob arena which is pretty cool so now what I'm going to go with is if we just quickly um, go to this and if we go to Minecraft now, and if we actually jump in here, hopefully we can get in there without a problem. Let's just do this. Be easier. So if we get a sign now, any sign, and now if we type into a sign, a, uh, AMA, join, arena, so volcano. But we're not actually going to do the join because this is the lobby. So we can have the stats here. Stats. And you can have uh, AMA kit tank, AMA um, kit archer was it? I think it was archer. Yeah. AMA. What else was it? I don't know the others. Well, don't remember the others off by heart. But basically, you can select them in the lobby, and then what you can do here is AMA stats. So. I think it's just kills one and then volcano okay that's not updated so i don't know what the stats are so if you're not 100 sure and uh, you actually can check in the configuration so if we actually open this up head to here go to save and quit uh go back go back then you've got your stats folder here and you've got your settings click on your settings and then you've got your mob kills. So basically it's mob kills. So if we go back to Minecraft. 
and edit that. So MA mob. Is it mobs or mobs? Let's double double check. Always make sure. Okay, it's mob underscore kills. And then we put underneath it is position one. And then volcano. And you can see there. Friends pickled. And then what you can do is here, so diamond. And then get a player's head. And if I'm correct, this should connect. So mob heals one of volcano. So it's called volcano. I've been spelling volcano all this time. And I'm having a problem spelling it. Volcano. Okay, it is right. Am I right? Is that right? Oh, it's a no. Oh, come on, Bran. You've been spelling it all right all this time. And then the brain goes dirt. But yeah, you can see there, you've got your first position there. So if we get actually gold, a gold block. And an iron block, like so. You can do exactly the same here and here. And then put the sign again. AMA. Um, mob kills two volcano. And you can see, it would just say, not sure, basically, because there's no other players. So again, you can do it here as well. So mob underscore kills, um, then three, and then volcano. So the volcano is your arena name. And then again, so top one, two, and then three. You can do it with any of your stats. So if you look in your stats file again, so you can find games won, games losses. This is all the stats what are in the capitals right on the left hand side, which like slightly goes to the left. So TNT has exploded. Arrows launched, potions drank, food eaten, etc. Literally, there's so many stats. Um, so now, I think that's basically it on the plugin, if I'm correct. Because that's basically how you make the arena. Um, we did find a small little issue, but we managed to fix it for, to help you guys in the future. Um, so, if we teleport here. Yeah. So we've gone through the permissions. Oh, we haven't actually. We can go through that now. So if we go to the Wikipedia. So if you're not sure where to go to that, there's a website here. So nextwiki.info. And you see on the right hand side, then you've got your core, which tells you everything about the configuration. So you can change the command shortcuts and stuff like that. And then your prefixes. And then if you go to your creating signs, again, this has showed you how to make your signs. So AMA join the volcano, AMA stats, AMA kits, etc. And then if we go to configuration and arena, it will show you all your configuration, what you can edit with more exclamation. Again, this is already in your servers, so that's totally fine. But we want to look at your permissions. So if you go to core commands and permissions, you can see user basically access to the basic functions of the plugin, admin full access of the plugin then permissions to a certain arena, and then permissions to have access to all arenas, permission to a certain kit, all kits, bypass, um, join in game, then you've got your commands, and then the bypass kits for money, so anyone don't need to pay without uh, permission, basically you don't need to pay for their kits, because they just bypass for it. And then you've got your commands here, and then what do you permissions on the right side? So you can see here, user, user, there, user, user, user. So it shows you all the information here, what you get with user and admin. And yeah, that's basically it on this plugin. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you need any help, let me know. Um, join my Discord and I will try my best to help you guys. And if you are new around here, remember to hit that like, subscribe and peace.